welcome to Eat, Pray, Crunch. I am going to be doing my six month postpartum update today. You probably recently saw Sophie's six month update. And if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. I'll link it down below. So I thought I would do a six month postpartum video separately today because there are just a few more things to talk about than usual. And it's six months. I feel like that's like a milestone in terms of postpartum. In terms of weight loss, I am now down 39 pounds. Um, the rate of weight loss is definitely really slow now. I've gotten to a point like where I've hit like several plateaus. You know, I'll hit a plateau and then I'll be there for like, you know, two or three weeks and then I'll go down like a pound or two. And then I'll stay there for two or three weeks and then I'll go down a pound or two. Even though it's slow, really slow now, I'm still happy that I am at least moving in the right direction. I still have been, you know, trying to sway paleo like I was before and not have too many um, grains, although I'm, you know, definitely not being exclusive about it. I still have a piece of bread now and then. I still have some crackers now and then. Um, or, you know, if we're having pita or like tortilla with our meal, I'll eat that. And on mornings when I'm like trying to get out the door, I will eat the I'll eat like grape nuts for breakfast. So um, there definitely are some, you know, grains that I am still eating, but it's definitely in moderation. And when I'm eating them, I am trying to do it more. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the Trim Healthy Mama. Probably a lot of you have. But the basic idea is that there's like two different kinds of meals you can eat and you can't eat them like within three hours apart from each other. Um, I haven't read the book or anything, but I've just read online and just the general idea behind it. And it's like, if you want a filling or like satiating meal, it's like a paleo meal, basically. You, it's like high in fat and protein and vegetables, that kind of thing. Um, and if you just need a light energizing um, meal, then you have, you know, something that's high carb, but has no fat in it. Because so, it's like the mixing the carbs and the fats together are like the dangerous combination. <laughs> and so um, <clears throat> I've been loosely following that as well. So when I do have carbs as a snack, I try to have them separately from other things. Like I'm trying not to eat like crackers with cheese, for example. I'll have like apples with cheese or, you know, veggies from the garden with cheese as a, as a snack or a meal. And then maybe I'll have, you know, later as a snack, I'll have like chips and salsa because it's like the carbs in a dip that's not fatty. <laughs> so anyway, I'm loosely trying to follow that, but I'm not being super strict about it. But I'm happy that whatever I'm doing, the scale is still going down albeit very slowly, but I'm okay with that right now. I have been really, really terrible about exercise this month. Um, we were out of town. You probably saw my video when we went to the Olympic Peninsula. Um, and we have just been so busy, like socially, we've been just like doing a ton of stuff lately. And just because of that, I've gotten out of the habit. And so I'm really trying to get back in the habit again of just like going out and walking with the kids. And um, my goal has been to run at least once a week. I feel like that's a manageable goal for me. I feel like I can handle that. Once a week, just getting out and running. And when the weather's bad, we do have an elliptical machine. So um, I will just do the elliptical machine instead of running that week. So um, I haven't been great about the exercise, but you know, I do what I can with the time that I have. But I'm, you know, I'm decently happy with the direction that things are going. Being down 39 pounds, I. I'm feeling like that's great. One more pound to that 40 pound mark. At this point, I have lost the same number of pounds that I lost between Alex and Sophie. The number is different because I started 20 pounds higher when I got pregnant with Sophie. I lost 40 pounds um, between Alex and Sophie. I still have a fair margin left, <laughs> but it feels good, like it's a milestone for me. I have lost the same amount of weight that I did the first time, even though the weight is higher this time. I feel like it's like, oh, I am in a range that I was in before. So I feel like it feels more attainable now. I feel like I can get there. The other exciting thing is that my wedding ring fits again, like my personal wedding ring. I'm so excited. Um, actually, it's I'm wearing my engagement ring um, because it doesn't actually fit with the wedding ring. Those two together don't fit yet, but just the engagement ring by itself fits again. And I'm so excited. Um, I was wearing my grandmother's ring, you know, for the last several months because it was one size bigger than um, 
than my ring, but I tried mine on this week and it fits. And so I'm so excited that at least the engagement ring fits and I'm wearing that again. And hopefully in the next month or two, I'll be able to get the wedding band on with it as well. So I'm really happy about that. That's like a big milestone for me as well so and the other thing is my cycle return this month Alex it returned at five months and it returned at almost just like a day or two shy of six months um, this time around so I guess that's generally how my body rolls is five or six months postpartum I get my cycle back you know I mentioned in one of my early postpartum videos I was thinking maybe going like IUD route for birth control but I just have been feeling wary about it since I had kind of a bad experience with one before. Anyway, so, but now that my cycle's back, it will make it a lot easier for me to know what my body is doing now. So I'm, in a way, I'm really glad that it is back because it's like, now I know what's going on. The other big thing that's been going on this last month or two has been really bad back pain. Um, and I realized that the, I, you know, it's not really a postpartum thing, but it's something that's been going on. Um, it's because I've been lifting Alex, you know, he's 32 pounds now, I think. And, um, we finally had to switch him over to a toddler bed. I probably should make a video about our transition to toddler bed here at some point, but, um, my, I am basically unable to lift Alex now because he's so heavy and it was just throwing out my back and I was like getting to a point where I couldn't get through the day without Advil and it's like the ligaments were feeling in it was like an injured kind of feeling so it was bad so it was definitely time to get him into the toddler bed so we did that and it has made a world of difference since I am not lifting him so much anymore. Um, I still am having back pain, even just carrying Sophie around. If I hold her for a long time, like my mid back will start to hurt. Um, so anyway, I am doing massage once a month, chiropractic once a week, and I am seeing my physical therapist that I've been seeing all along. And, um, she has started to help me with my back issue as well. And, um, so all of those things together and not lifting Alex, um, has been making a huge difference. So it's definitely a lot better than it was several weeks ago. Anyway, so that's been going on, but it's definitely, that's moving in the right direction as well. So other than that, I really don't have a whole lot to report in terms of postpartum, so.